Hey guys, my name is Jack and I'm here with Harry, aka Ketnips, the illustrator and artist behind the web's most notorious beanie, beanie. as I like to <laughs> We're going to ask him some of your community questions that you've asked on some of our posts and hopefully we'll get to find out some more about you. Yeah. So That's before we go into the community questions, um, I've got a few points to make. So I interviewed you last year, uh, around mm -hmm. June I think, and at the time you had 22,000 followers. And now you have Hello. over 300,000. Yeah, now well. your, your viewership and audience <laughs> has grown massively over the last year. I can imagine that feels pretty good. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. And you've managed to travel as well. You've been to LA, New York, Mexico. You've mm -hmm. had quite a hectic year. I've been busy. You have been busy. So we are super glad to have you here today to ask yeah. you questions. It's good to be here. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully, um, you guys will enjoy it. So we're going to start now with community questions and user living the lettuce life okay. <laughs> has asked you, do you see the bean as just a character or an exemplification of yourself? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> uh, I think it's a little bit of both. So at times it, it's just my like inner feelings and then I kind of just express it through the character. But then other times I'm kind of, I might be thinking of more like in a broad sense, what people are feeling, mm -hmm. and then trying to uh, portray that using the bean. Um, but it's never like one thing or the other. I mean, yeah, that's something I've noticed about the bean character. Like, you can look at the posts and you can really relate to it. Yeah. Even if it's something I've never really experienced, you know, you can look at it and go, Yeah, I, I, get I can see how yeah. that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which makes them really, really good. And I think that's why your, <laughs> your illustrations have become so kind of global and so many people understand it as well. Hopefully. I think so. I think that's why. <laughs> Basti Espinoza asks, how does it feel to be someone who inspires millions of people with their illustrations? I don't know if it's millions, but... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close. Um, it's, yeah, it's really, um, it's crazy. Like, the internet is nuts. You can do, you know, like, it's your wildest dreams, but like... <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's really cool, but even if I was only reaching like, I don't know, like a thousand, ten thousand people, as long as I was like connecting with people <laughs> and reaching a, a nice audience, then I'm good. Yeah, because I've noticed that like you tend to reply to people on comments, and you, you you're kind of you're not just an illustrator putting out illustrations, but you've basically created a community. Yeah, of people I, who well, understand. It's them. like they're there and they're engaging. I feel like obliged to <laughs> talk, and it's really nice actually. Like it's probably the best part about it. I think it's good. User Breezy Blue Ocean asks, <laughs> Why doesn't Bean wear clothes most of the time? Is he always too hot? Uh, how many beans do you see wearing clothes? <laughs> like, That's a good point. Uh, but okay, um, I don't know. I think like in terms of comics, like I'm trying to get to a point really quickly, mm -hmm. and if I bog the whole comic down with like what the bean is wearing today, then it just gets too much. So it's better if it's naked. It looks pretty good naked. <laughs> That's yeah, I don't think it's disturbing. <laughs> uh, hopefully not. <laughs> User Melis asks, how did you come up with the Bean character and which artists were you inspired by? Uh, it kind of, it, it kind of went a bit from everywhere. So obviously like probably a lot of people have picked up on it looking um, kind of like a cute lemon grab, which isn't yellow. Mm -hmm. um, so Adventure Time is a big influence. Uh, I really liked Over the Garden Wall it was nice. I kind of took from that. Um, in terms of the more kind of softer style, which I'm going for now, that's like what I took from. But then Regular Show was a big influence as well. And yeah, there's kind of like Cartoon Network in that kind of, when I was like 13, probably just had all the effect on it, yeah. And do you watch a lot of cartoons now to kind of stay up to date with Yeah, I guess, yeah. I don't like Cartoon Network as much anymore. Um, it used to be really cool and then now it's just like, I don't know, they sold out a bit. <laughs> but no, I like I like um, Bob's Burgers. Uh, Rick and Morty's okay. Um, Bojack Horseman's really good. Archer's really good. I could go, on, but I'm just gonna yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Melis also asked, do you have any tips on developing your own art style? As I've been struggling, and I could really do some help. Okay. Um, I don't know. Like I can't tell you how to get your own style, <laughs> um, but it it comes through a lot of practice and trying different techniques. Uh, really just experimenting and then you also have to remember that it's 
sometimes nice not to have a set style. So you want people to recognize your work, but also you want it to be kind of fluid so you can just go and do whatever, like. And kind of dip in and out. Of yeah, style yeah, exactly, it. yeah. Cool, yeah. Cosmic Kazima asked, okay, this is relevant. <laughs> do you ever draw in different styles? Okay, yeah. Than so, the relatable being? Uh, yeah, I do, I guess, yeah. Um, like, if I'm going for a certain emotion, then I'll, I'd stay away from completely cute or like if it's a more kind of rough kind of drawing, then I'll, I'll do it differently. But I mean, digital is really good. Like I'll, I'll tend to work within um, like digital for the most part, like anything in Photoshop, because I can then go back to it really easily. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nadia12767 okay. asks, <laughs> how do you pick the color and the style and the name of Kenips? He's so cute, I love everything about the character. Thank you, Nadia. Um, uh, I think the name kind of just... I wanted something like catnips because it sounded like a, quite like a catchy name and it could just be applied to anything. Um, but then I, I settled for catnips because it was taken. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, just, I just liked it. I thought it was quite punchy. Um, in terms of the style that came over time, but I warmed to different colors, so I really liked the pink because it was it was kind of like quite neutral in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, just this, the whole style was just uh, inviting, I guess. And Stashimi asks, how did you come up with the really good and catchy short phrases and captions for your drawings? Uh -huh. uh, I asked myself that, <laughs> <laughs> um, but they really just I, I don't expect them. Like the best ones come when I'm just uh, at a meal or something, like I'm out and about and someone will say something catchy and I, it kind of just clicks. For example, like when I was, like I went out for a, a, a Italian food and they said um, like, oh, where's my spaghetti? So then I think like, oh, they forget forgetting my spaghetti and then I can do, a, you know, something like that. Um, so it just comes to just chilling and not trying too hard, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of artists, <laughs> they, they, they try and focus so much on getting it right. Sometimes mm. it kind of clouds it. Yeah, Sometimes exactly. it's more just... It's too forced. Yeah, 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 it needs to be sort of candid and just... Oh, that's funny. That candid, works. yeah. It's the word of the day today. <laughs> Ocean asked, are you still studying or is doing comics your full-time job? Uh, I'm not studying. I'm learning a lot about everything outside of school. Um, which they don't teach in school, so like business, <laughs> um, and that's a little bit stressful. But uh, no, I just I I didn't really. I, there was so much going on with catnips at the time when I went out of high school that I didn't think of doing anything else, and it would have been too much trying to juggle a course which I wasn't even that sure on, and then it cost like a brick. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I just do this, and it's turned out okay. Who's turned up pretty well, right? Yeah, I got lucky. Go to Camden asks, did you use tags or hashtags before being popular? And what exactly helped you to gain attention and a massive audience? Okay. Um, yeah, I think hashtags are good, but hashtags will only get you so far because if you go for like the typical ones, everyone's using them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's probably better to reach out to uh, people who repost art, accounts who repost art, you need to tag them, um, like curators, mm -hmm. like talk to people. You'll find that if you ask people questions, they feel obliged to help you. Um, and then a lot of my followers at the start came through collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, and especially with people who have uh, like a bigger following, but also like a similar style or something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But if their audience can kind of um, change up, then that really helps. Yeah. yeah, I suppose collaborations is like a really important thing because a lot of artists work on their own and don't necessarily collaborate, but I think, yeah, collaborating with people definitely gets other people who wouldn't usually see your work to see it and exactly. vice versa for the other yeah. people as well. Yeah, and it's just interesting as well. It kind of changes it up a bit. Magnus Nyborg asks, I heard somewhere that you play the drum. <laughs> That's How creepy. come <laughs> you haven't made a little bean smacking the skins? I don't know. I think I should. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> I'll do it like on a guitar and stuff, but um, yeah. Um, Maybe you could have a little rock band. Yeah, exactly. It's just a one-man rock band. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I might do like a little gif, 
Something like that. I am Castic asked, where do you feel your art is going? It's a bit boring oh. question, isn't it? Oi. <laughs> My mum's like, ask her the same thing. <laughs> what do you do with your life? Uh, yeah, um, hopefully it's going somewhere. Uh, I just want to... I'm not really focused on having a, a set path for it. I don't want to narrow it down to like, oh, I want to do this in two years, or I want it to be at this point. I just kind of... Any opportunities or something like cool that I see happening, I'll go for it, and hopefully if it reaches more people, then great. Doodle With Me asks, when was the first time you realised that you're passionate about art and wanted to make it your job? Um, it's just always kind of been like that. Like I never, there was never a moment where it just like clicked. It just like, art was always my escape. Mm -hmm. So I could always just go back to it if I was like stressed out or um, if I wasn't getting along with the kids in school or like if I didn't want to play sports, like I would just go and draw and then eventually I just thought like oh it'd be good if I could make a job of this because I like doing this mm -hmm. and you shouldn't do a job which you don't like so Defia asked when did you decide to go professional and start selling merch and when did you buy your first tech equipment for drawing uh okay I bought my first uh tech equipment uh it was like a, a proper one was like the Wacom uh and that was probably like two years ago I'm still using it like it's good, um, but I don't think that you need to rely on tech all the time. It's, mm -hmm. it, it helps if you know exactly what you want to do. And at the time I wanted to make work which was more consistent, so it, it was good. But you should just focus on the ideas behind your work as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then what was, the, what was the other one? When um, did I decide I to make t-shirts? Yeah. <laughs> when did I want to make t-shirts? Uh, I always wanted to make t-shirts because it's like... If you can like wear your stuff, that's really cool. So mm -hmm. I kind of did it for me at the start, and then when people were like, "Oh, that's nice," like, and there was a demand building, I I went for it, and just you can just yeah, just start like that. I don't <laughs> know. Don't force it too much. Just yeah, just go with it. Yeah. Issy Kozo asks, "Would you like to travel the world and turn catnips into street art?" I'm already doing You're already that. Doing it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I definitely want to do that some more. I want to do like Australia, Japan, uh, Canada, and like Europe more. Um, but like I'm in like such a lucky position to be able to um, travel with my work and reach so many different people. Um, it was like crazy going to Mexico, uh, doing stuff in New York and LA. Like it, it's it's nuts, and I definitely wouldn't want to like not do it if the opportunity was there. Marine K asks, how do you get in the mood for oh, drawing? Okay. <laughs> uh, um, do you listen to music or what do you do? Uh, I kind of just like, I tell myself I have to post it this time so I need to draw it this time. <laughs> like, so you keep quite a solid schedule then, you know when yeah, you want to post it? Yeah, okay. yeah you got to be strict with it. <laughs> but um, no, uh, it kind of just, it's just um, when I feel like it kind of... Um, I don't really have a ritual or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I just draw. Yeah. Uh, but jazz helps. <laughs> jazz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it is important as well not to stick too heavily to a schedule because you are human being, and you know sometimes it's oh, hard yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. pop yeah, stuff yeah. out. And pop stuff I mean, out. I haven't been drawing for the past couple of days. I'm slacking. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's really useful to just chill for a bit. And OK, Corin has asked, have you ever thought of giving your little bean a friend? He has friends. Well, it has friends. The bean is a bean, but anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, no, there's the dog, there's Doggo, uh, and then there's the other bean, which is kind of similar, but with different eyes, and who isn't as interesting, but. Uh, so there's that, and um, yeah, it has friends. Uh, Bamboo Arts asks you, do you ever plan to go to art school in the future? Mm, right now, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it kind of stresses me, like I, I, I don't like school that much, mm -hmm. um, but I guess art school is different and if I wanted to learn something, like if I wanted to learn more about textiles or like modelling, then I'd want to do a course related to that. Um, but right now I'm learning so much on the job that I just want to do this for a bit. Amy Price Illustration has asked, can you tell us about the Instagram stickers and did they reach out to you? Or did you reach out to them? Uh, I can't say anything about that. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no, I can't. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they, they hit me up in the DMs and uh, it was wild. But <laughs> no, um, they were super friendly um, and I was very lucky. It was so out of the blue. Uh, I just kind of, it freaked me out, but it was cool. I mean, it must and be pretty bizarre, right? Seeing yeah. like thousands of people <laughs> using that sticker. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think they know who I am, but it's <laughs> it's nice anyway. Like, oh, who, oh, like Diplo using that? That's, mm-hmm. oh, that's yeah. cool, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just go with it. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. And finally, Rekvijem asks, did you ever think so many people would find happiness and peace on a daily basis through your comics? All the love from Serbia. Oh, thank you, Serbia. <laughs> um, I kind of, I always wanted it to have a big reach because, like, it's it's better to promote positivity in a big way. But at the same time, it's like it's, it's like wow, I wasn't expecting that, and I'd still be doing this even if I had a way smaller following. Because mm-hmm. um, it's just fun. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't change based around the followers, I hope. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I think that's, yeah. that's something I've noticed as well, like looking through your feed, you've stayed really consistent, and cool. you know, like I said earlier, you, you, you respond to people, you've not changed, you're just doing it because you enjoy it. Mm. You know, and it's evident how people are responding, because you know, each post now is getting thousands and thousands of likes and comments. That's and neat. It's cool, <laughs> it is cool. Yeah. So that's kind of it for our community questions. Um, thank you guys so much for asking them in the posts. Make sure you go follow Ketnips yeah. on Instagram. Follow Jack. Jack, uh, <laughs> I can't remember your tag. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> just, no, but go follow yeah. this guy. It's at Ketnips. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, yeah. Harry. Thank you, Jack. And Thank uh, you. Uh, welcome. Yeah, and great. It's been great. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.